I never knew that I could draw at all. And all of a sudden I find myself drawing here and it amazes me. <laughs> Basically, the idea of Art for Life is that art is an engagement that we have throughout our lifetime, and that often in our society we look at art and artists as something separate from daily life. The kind of the overall idea of the project is to work with multi-generational groups, 20-year-olds um, and senior citizens, in, in terms of trying to explore what does it mean? What does it mean to make art in this society? What does it mean to experience art in this society? Throughout the course of five weeks, the participants talked about so many different issues related to their life experiences, which have, are so varied and different from our own. Well, what are you, what's your first impressions of this painting? What does it remind you of, or what do you think of when you first take a look? I see. Oh a face on the side with a hat on, on the side. And up there looks like a, a, a palm tree. It was really interesting to watch how these students, who I've worked with in other situations in classroom, how they interacted with this population in Milwaukee on a number of levels. I mean, I, I was so inspired by how generous and kind and warm the students are and patient. Um, I think that for the Carroll students, it was a, a learning process on a lot of levels. To um, accentuate the fact that we don't want you to draw specific objects or certain shapes, but just focus on your response to the music, we are going to be blindfolded. You see so much of yourself in, in them and it, it kind of just brings you above everything. Because you know there's school and there's studying and there's drama with people, but when you're with these people, they, they have so much history and they have so much more to life than you almost realized that there was. Another thing that really makes this program unique and special and why I want to keep doing it is because the participants' experiences in life were so incredibly rich and the ways in which they came out through the process of making art was profound and surprising and heartwarming and I mean we had really s strong connections between us because of them. Um, one of the participants she was um, painting with watercolors and when we asked her what she was focusing on she said she was painting a poem. It was a poem she had read to her husband daily prior to his death two weeks ago. So she was making a painting of that poem. The students were the teachers in for the projects. They, they were in teams and they each taught a project. And we kept samples from each project. So there were five projects in all. And then we organized an exhibition. Up to that point, the participants had seen their work completed and we usually talked about it at the end and shared and stuff. The participants couldn't believe how good their work was. And it was the difference between just you know, working on it and then seeing it formally matted and put up on the walls with other works, they were really proud of the work they had done. The WIFIC funding really allowed this project to exist. The WIFIC funding helped me to focus my ideas about how I wanted to work with an elderly population in Carroll students. I found I had the creativity in me, in the deepest, my deepest self that I never knew I had. And I would wish that for anybody.